turned out here this morning. We're at the point where the rain is coming so sideways that it actually stings when it hits you, and you can hardly even see the Bridge of Lions behind us anymore. Uh, crews still continuing to monitor what's going on out here, but the, the hardest winds that we've felt all morning long, and without question, the heaviest rains. Unfortunately, if we take a look back over here, we've got another person who has come back off of the island out here. I'm not sure how well you can see them. We might have to move the camera just a little bit for you. Uh, that has come out here to the bayfront to take a look at this. Again, do not do that. A few moments later. Well, um, good morning, ninjas. So, I'm uh, I'm like right dead in the center of Florida. Almost, well, sort of actually, almost. You know, Central Florida, East Coast, a little inland. Right now, it's uh, Hurricane Matthew is approaching. Uh, it's like 8:10 in the morning. And they said that uh, pretty much it was going to start about 8 o'clock. I'm about 30 miles from uh, St. Augustine, if that tells you anything. Pull up the uh, map and I'll, I'll post a picture here and I'll show you where I'm at. Like I'm like right there. But it's not too bad yet. I mean, uh, we have had some heavy rain and wind. But for the most part, not been that bad but um, I'm not underestimating this thing at all I know that it's a very powerful storm but um, I'm not evacuating my home I mean there's people driving I'm, I'm surprised to see this many people on the road uh, I've seen a couple cops just past my house and I've seen cars all night long all day long so I don't know if these people don't think it's not real or if they just have no choice and maybe they're working and this and that I mean you know, some people are coming home from work right now it's like 8 o'clock in the morning so there's you know probably people going to work and coming home from work but I just in this situation I would not be working I would be home with my family I know I'm out here on my bike but I'm only going a couple minutes from my house I just want to kind of to get get out here on main road and see how much traffic was out here as you can tell not a whole lot of people on the roads there is you know steady rain I have my trash control on level 3 right now but um yeah it's coming um and I live around a bunch of lakes too so that's not that great but like I said I'm a little bit uh inland so it's not like I'm right on the fucking coast so I should be all right uh, I'm just gonna sit here with my wife and my kids and hunker down and uh, just, just ride out the storm all right ninjas stay safe out there for all my Floridian riders uh, my uh, Florida buddies uh, I hope everybody uh, has a safe one through the storm. Uh, we'll see you on the other side. Choo! A few moments later. Power went out at about three o'clock this morning. So this this storm has a long reach, and there will be problems as well. I want to take you to St. Augustine right now. That's over the picture on your left. Okay, that's Bay Street. Look how the wind is just whipping the water from the Matanzas River over onto the sidewalk there. Yeah, it's interesting too, because if you'll remember 30 minutes ago, Chris Parento was joining us live from there, and that, that those intense bands of rain were coming down, and now you can see it stopped raining, but the wind is still so forceful, and keep in mind, and you can see people are out on the roads, which is just a terrible idea. You should not be doing this. They have told you, not just here in Duval County, but all along our coast, whatever county you live in, you need to stay in place and shelter. You, you, you got to understand, there are going to be people who, uh, I'm going to say this foolishly, defy the evacuation orders, defy the orders to stay off the streets, and want to go see this storm. 